traditional Picatinny rail on top. It's got the sights. If they're hit, they'll actually spring back up. So if they hit on a door jam, whatever. Same thing with the rear. They're also lockable. So you can lock the sights down. Auxiliary equipment can be added on the top, sides as well. Uh, notice the cocking handle. It is a reciprocating cocking handle. My primary hand is my fighting hand side, so my support hand uh, will control the cocking handle. But also notice there's a witness mark here. I can switch this weapon system over to the opposite side for extraction ejection. I'm going to pull the cocking handle back to the witness mark, pull it out, and then swipe it over to the ejection port. And now everything is going to come out the opposite side of the weapon system. So if I'm a left-handed operator, I can switch it over from there. All the different sling attachment points on the weapon system. Ambidextrous selector, one for semi-auto, S for safe, R for rapid fire. Picatinny rail on the bottom. It's easily removed. So now I can add my GLX, my grenade launcher. Uh, now I can have two weapon systems. If I'm a vertical grip operator, I can run a vertical grip, put a vertical grip on here with white light capability. So additional you know, accessories that can be added to the firearm. In the magazine, I have three different places to release the magazine. Traditionally M4 style, with my index trigger finger, releases the magazine. I have a magazine release button on the side here and one on the bottom. Bolts locked to the rear, I just push down on the bottom for your bolt release is right here in the trigger group. To remove the barrel, I can re to remove the barrel very quickly. I pull have these two locking tabs on each side. I pull down on the locking tab, I grab and pull out. My barrel grabbing my piston, and it's a piston-driven system. I can go with different barrel lengths. The stock system is retractable. It is foldable. And to remove the trigger group itself, I'm just going to push up on the selector itself push down on the back of the buffer, hold the buffer down, and move, remove my trigger group. And then to remove the bolt system, I put up to my witness mark, pull out the uh, cocky handle, put it to the neutral position, and remove my, my bolt group. Other than that, I have a piece of polymer. All my working components are inside my trigger group itself. My barrel system makes up the weight. It is a piston-driven system. Dual feed ramps, because the magazine, the rounds are actually staggered in the magazine, so when the rounds come up. Again, without the use of tools, disassembling the weapon or, or putting it back together. Where are they? And my weapon system now is back in the fight. Can you tell me a little bit about what you told me about availability? And availability, uh, not, it's only for defense right now. Eventually in the future, uh, we'll bring it out for law enforcement community and also uh, the general public.